I'm Evo Taz, and we are back with The Devil and Me. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end, but yeah, thank you for following, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Guys, welcome back. I'm curious, where did Charlie go? With Mark. Are you early for a change? How's that speaking? Right now, your internment is in your name. Understand this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. I appreciate this may be distressing. Like whoever it is, dug up. Remains, oh my god. Leave the light on. <gasps> what the fuck is this? You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? What the book is this? See Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Charlie with the heroics.
What the hell? Oh. Hands where I can see them, all of you! He killed them. No talking! I said, hands where I can see them! Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Boat. The boat. Seriously, lady? This way. This should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. There. Work, damn it. Hey, hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on. Wow, he killed that guy and, and his daughter as well. Even though they would try to escape. We made it. Thank God it's over. Not all of us. Um, attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's what popped up on Jamie. I heard the sound, but I didn't know what what it was. up and there they were just in the middle of the flipping room waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies and where are you coming in from uh fort wayne been driving since 3 a.m early start well i was trying to get into the port by eight probably not gonna make that now am i i'd say likely not You know what? I think I'm gonna see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. Count on it. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Wow, so all that and then Jamie died at the end just because I didn't hear that prompt. That sucked.
You're here. All good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. So, rest in peace. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie should have jumped rather than trying to fight. But she had bad advice, didn't she? And then things got messy. Very messy indeed. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. But she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> This one was definitely uh, definitely good. I think if I had a, if I would play it again, I'd probably save them all. I mean, for Erin, it looks like you gotta kill um, Kate, and hopefully she doesn't die from it. 
and that keeps her alive. And then at the end there, you gotta have Jamie jump off the ship instead of. Although I missed one prompt with her, so I'm wondering if that prompt would have kept her alive. But eh, game was good, fun, had a blast. Uh, can't wait until they release more. I mean, that's the end of the anthology, but let's see what they do with it. I know they were pretty popular. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next. From time to time, you heard. Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel Cassiopeia. After successfully rendezvousing with a Charybdis marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts a high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think. <laughs> Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Directive 8020. Oh, we'll be playing that for sure. Alright, once again, thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. Catch you in the next.